Hi everyone. So this video is the introduction to the fast growing hierarchy, the FGH. So basically the fast growing hierarchy is a measurement of how fast a function grows. So that is why it is very popular uh, in the Googleology or big numbers uh, community. It's basically uh, one of the most popular way to measure uh, how fast a function grows. So it's similar to um, when you want to measure distance, you use a ruler or a measuring tape. And for the weight, you want to use a balance or a scale to measure weight. And of course, for fast uh, growing function, you use the fast growing hierarchy. So basically, the FGH is has the base form of this thing over here. And of course, this is one of the main rule over here. So f of this plus 1, f of alpha plus 1 n is basically equal to f of alpha at the bottom and n of n. So basically, f of n here, it means the iteration of the uh, function, the fast growing hierarchy f over here. So basically, this one plus one, it means this one iterated n times for this basic function over here. So the fast going hierarchy, basically, it starts with uh, f of zero n. So we start with zero. And then uh, as far as I know, it used positive integers. So I've never seen something like f of 0 0.5 of f of 1.5. I've never seen that before. But uh, f of 0n, it basically just means f of n, which is n plus 1. So this is the most uh, basic, uh, the, the first level, or you can say, you know, of the fast growing hierarchy is just the addition. So n plus 1. Um, and the second level is, of course, f of 1n, which is equals to f of zero n iterated n times of n so using this rule over here of course and then this thing of course it equals to um, f of zero iterated for n times n of n so what does this mean this of course it means n plus one how many one n number of one so n uh, 1 plus 1 plus 1 blah, blah 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 for n number of times and this thing over here of course is equal to n plus n because this thing over here equals to n and which is equals to 2n and the next level is f2 of n which is equal to f of 1 iterated n times of n and this of course equals to f1 da 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 uh, so f1 repeated for n number of times and this thing of course is equal to n times a number of 2 over here so n times 2 for n number of times so here 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 blah 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 blah, blah for n times so here of course this thing over here equals to 2 to the power of n times n and then the third level obviously is just n I mean f of 2 n iterated n times of n which is equal to n I mean f2 da, 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 iterated for n times and this thing I'm not gonna write it out it's gonna be more complicated than this but this thing over here is greater than 2 double arrow n so now you start to see the pattern over here so the next one f4 of n of course it equals to f3 of n and which is equal to f3 da, 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 for n number of times which is greater than two three arrows n and then of course the next one would be f5 of n f6 of n and you continue this you can have f of a thousand n or f a million n and here i just write m of here m can be any positive integer also f m of n of course is greater than 2 up arrow I mean m minus 1 up arrow n so as you can see over here so f4 is greater than 2 3 arrow n 
so the number of arrows is m minus one of course you can continue you can even have uh, a f of google f of googleplex and f of grams number even f of three three of course they are all positive integers and eventually of course you're gonna run out um, of all positive integers even though it's kind of uh, contradicting you know there's an infinite number of positive integers but in this case you, in the fast scoring hierarchy eventually you're gonna use after you use all the positive integers you're gonna use the ordinal omega so this is omega so omega f of omega n this function over here it grows faster than any positive integer of f so let's say it's greater than f of rails number n this one still grows faster than that and this thing f of omega n it's greater than 2 up arrow n minus 1 so n minus 1 up arrow n which is uh, equal to the single argument Ackermann function so this Ackermann function over here it, its growth rate is around f of omega n and then next would be f of omega plus 1 n and this thing over here grows faster than the g function the g function which is the function used to build grams number so g1 g2 g3 and g64 of course is grams number but this thing over here grows faster than the g function or g sequence and um, basically the g sequence the growth rate is between f omega n and f omega plus 1 n and next of course we have f omega plus 2n and then we have f of omega plus 3 and then eventually you're gonna run out of positive integers and then you're gonna have f of omega plus omega n that means omega I mean 2 omega and then next you have f of 3 omega n and so on of course eventually you're gonna run out again uh, and then you will have f of omega times omega n which is f of omega square and this thing over here is around the growth rate of the chain arrow notation and then next so as you can see clearly the chain arrow notation grows way 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 faster than either both the g function and also the Ackermann function you know this is way faster than this this is omega times omega omega square this is just omega plus one and next, of course, you will have omega cube n, and then eventually you're gonna run out again. So you're gonna have f of omega to the omega, and then you have f of omega to the omega to the omega n, and then eventually you're gonna run out again. And then what? So what do we do next? We're gonna have a another ordinal. This time, this over here, this uh, this ordinal over here. I'm not gonna pronounce that. But this is this order is way bigger than uh, omega so this f of this and this thing over here is growth rate is around uh, about the same as the growth rate of the good stein sequence or the good stein function so this function here is growth rate is f of this and and then here i'm skipping a lot of steps so there's a lot more um, ordinal of course you can have this one plus this one by itself or this one plus one and then you have uh, you can you know you can build something like this using this ordinal eventually you're gonna have to use another ordinal and then after that you repeat the whole process again like this and then eventually you have to use another ordinal and um, after you use multiple ordinal eventually you're gonna use this ordinal over here and this is um, one of the biggest ordinal using this uh, thing over here uh, but of course this is not the biggest ordinal in the fast growing hierarchy and this thing over here is actually dominated by the tree sequence so tree 3 of course is part of the tree n and tree 3 is greater than this function over here of course this is not the end there's more that you can build of course there's the uh, SCG function lotus function something etc and etc BEAF something like that and um, 
of course, I'm not sure if the busy beaver can be represented using the fast scoring hierarchy. I've not seen one yet, but doesn't mean it couldn't. And um, again, one more important thing is that the fast scoring hierarchy, uh, anything defined by the fast scoring hierarchy, doesn't necessarily has to be computable, so it can also be used to represent uncomputable function. But uh, maybe smaller growing uh, uncomputable function, I'm not sure. Uh, like the faster one, like the busy beaver or the rails function, I'm, I haven't seen a proven um, proven thing uh, using the fast growing hierarchy. So anyway, thanks for watching and have a nice day.